Is that Dolly Parton? Who is this right here on her uh, on her shoulder or whatever you want to call this particular piece of her body? She has a big, like the ginormous blump. I don't know what you call that. That back piece that's on the tricep or whatever you want to call it like that. I have no idea. It always looks so weird because you don't develop any fat on the actual, on the, on the, elbow itself because it's a joint naturally you have to bend it so that cannot accrue on that particular area now it always looks so weird when you see this giant mass of flesh and then you look slightly below it and it's like just bony isn't that weird it's always so bony it's like it's, it's the joints you're not gonna grow fat on those things but it doesn't stop it from being uncanny this particular clip is going extremely viral right now. I don't know if anybody says viral anymore. It's blowing up. It's going crazy right now because Tess Holliday, who is a model, and trust me, she is a model. She tells you at every chance she possibly can. I don't know why she's got to be so incredibly cringy about that. It's like she stops people randomly in the middle of the street and just goes, hey, you know that I'm a model, right? Do you know that I model for places? Like, I'm a professional model. I don't know why. Uh, nobody has told me how incredibly cringy Tess Holiday is, but she's got to be apex cringe. And it's very, very rare that you find women that are very cringe. I feel like women are just naturally better at conversation or just being around other people compared to men. Uh, if a dude is cringy, I almost kind of accept it as a default or like a natural thing that guys have, like a passive ability just to be passively cringy. But for Tess Holiday, she's an overachiever and she's also incredibly big backed. I can't even see her spine anymore because she's so incredibly massive. But Today, we're going to watch a whole bunch of Tess Holiday videos because if I have to watch it, you have to watch it too. Feel bad together, okay? I, saw, I came across these videos the other night on stream because people were telling me about this particular clip. And I thought, you know what? Let's watch it all together. Let's watch all the deliciousness of Tess Holiday together as a family, as a group, as a community. Because if I have to experience it, you have to experience it too. Somebody let me know. Is that Dolly Parton? I see Miss Piggy. I wonder, okay, look, if you're going on a cruise ship, right, or like you're out here in the Adriatic Sea or whatever this is, right, I love it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's fantastic. But are you just going to spend the entire time just sitting down on a towel because you don't like, did they give you this towel because they were afraid that you might leak something on top of whatever piece of furniture this is? Because there is a towel right below where she's sitting. I would be very concerned if I was uh, on this boat and Tess Holiday was also on this boat. I don't know. If this boat has the proper mm, structural integrity in order to facilitate that type of mass of a human being. Here we go. Boom. Cannonball shit. I would be really... I know that fat people probably have a little bit of more buoyancy. It's not like a bowling ball necessarily. Like, But I would be very concerned. I think Tess Holiday probably weighs around 500 pounds, maybe even 600 pounds. Which, by the way, has got to be like monstrously uncomfortable to like be navigating the world so incredibly chafing on everything that you have. Like... Just simply moving your arm like this. Ah, rug burn! Because you just have so much flesh rubbing against itself on a consistent basis. I don't know how people of this size... You know, I can, I can kind of understand it if you're a little bit bigger. Maybe it's not bothering you to, like, a really big extent. But if you're this massive, how can it not be bothering you? Like, are you just lying to everybody consistently? So incredibly consistently that you actually believe your own lie at this point? Because I refuse to believe... Anybody at this size is not being, like, just, just every single day reminded permanently of the inadequacies, the terribleness, the absolute atrocity of their body, the inadequacy of their bodies. And uh, for some reason, Tess Holiday gets away with it because guess what? She's a model. She's a model. I'm a model. I'm a model. We're all models. I wonder if she feels some type of way about being a model, too. Because, like, okay, here's the thing. People usually are models because they look a particular way, and I don't doubt that Tess Holiday is a model. Of course she is. But I also think, aren't you kind of, like, ashamed that they're only hiring you because you got, you're, like, the one-and-done fat model? Like, you are the definitive fat model. Like, they're only going to you because you're fat. Like, hey, we need equality. We're not looking for somebody that looks good. We're not looking some, for somebody to, like reflect what we actually want to sell we just kind of need to reach a quota and people have been kind of getting upset with us because we have put out these ad campaigns and we've got the black guys we got the mixed girls we had the korean dude in one of our ads but people are still upset they're they're clamoring for a fat woman so we were thinking okay uh, obviously, we never hire a fat guy. We don't want any of that Cheeto dust in the studio. So we were thinking about hiring you, Tess Holiday. Uh, not because you're good, not because you you know you have a particular talent or anything like that. You're fat, and you're really fat. Matter of fact, I was just looking at you. I almost couldn't believe it. Like on you know the the Instagram photos, the the TikTok videos don't do it any justice in person. You are big. I mean, it's crazy. You're a massive, ginormous 
we need you to just stand there. That's all we need you to do. And, uh, oh, will, will, will we classify you as a model? I uh, sure. Yeah, sure. You're, you're a model. No, no, you're a model. You're totally a model. Yeah, just stand there for like, you can't stand up. Just sit there. Sitting will be fine. Can you have, can you at least sit there? All right, that's cool too. Jumping in the Adriatic Sea, a size 24 with fans turned friends from all around the world because we deserve to take up space. What a beautiful time to be alive. Taking up space in the Adriatic Sea, bro. You're like a fucking helicarrier, dude. Like a giant, like USS Gerald R. Ford, bro. Jesus Christ. Ginormity to the next level, dude. You can land literally F F-20s or F-19s or whatever you call those things on the poop deck right there, dude. Just, just right there. Just land them right there beautiful and nobody's like looking at this as this like there's a problem dude this woman is literally just on her back like she couldn't even be bothered to actually be aerobic in this water like anytime you have to burn calories in water you would think that it would be optimal but nah we're just gonna lay there in the water i mean crazy right i mean at this point we are really we are real realistically here we're turning where's the adriatic sea is that the mediterranean we're literally turning the mediterranean right now into a waterbed for test holiday that's crazy as hell bro i mean you can't make this stuff up dude couldn't be bothered to move. A lot of fat, a lot of fat women out there. Like I get it, live your best life, like go ahead. But it's just kind of crazy that you guys literally are out here every single day being bothered by your bodies, having all these terribleness goes going on in your body. I mean, your your body is like literally every single day just becoming progressively ass every single day. But you know, in the name of live your best life in the name of I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy what I have while I have it and a lot of people will call around they say you know Tess how, you know do you expect to make it past 30 and her response is usually I am past 30 which is fine by the way it's not the point by the way um it's not the point of did you are you are, are you gonna make it past 30 that's not the point the point is like are you gonna live to an average human being life expectancy being that you are blank that you are massive and i love that people will just point that out and go like oh you know she really killed because she did like a video and somebody was like oh you're not gonna make it past 30 and she's like i'm actually 39 which is very surprising by the way great skincare but it's uh also incredibly amazing that she completely missed the point and the point wasn't that she was gonna make it past 30 the point was actually do you expect to live a long life knowing that your body is permanently fucked What a beautiful angle, dude. Oh, shit, man. There's a lot of big women here, dude. I wonder when this girl, right, hears Tess Holiday go, I'm curvy. I wonder what she says. I wonder what the response is here. Because uh, is Tess Holiday curvy? Mm, I mean, not really, dude. I mean, there's really no curves on her. There's a lot of lumps. There's a lot of on her. Beautiful. Wow. This is right here. This is a revolution. Just a whole bunch of big women lay, just laying down in the water, bro. It's what a beautiful life we're living in, right, dude? I mean, this is this is right here. A hundred years ago, dudes would have been shipped off to war. They would have died in trenches. Your child would have died of like scoliosis or diarrhea. And here we are in 2024, uh, fat women uh, just having a vacation for what? I don't know. I don't know what they're having a vacation for. They're just celebrating being fat. Don't you love it? Don't you love being fat, guys? Don't you love all the heart disease and all the diabetes and stuff like that? The sugar foot just dragging on the floor. The perpetual, the perpetual, the perpetually always being offered Ozempic and then not knowing if you're gonna take it or live because if you take the Ozempic and start to lose weight, you might actually abandon your entire fan base that you built up, telling them that it's really great to be fat. When in reality, every day when you look in the mirror and you see yourself getting bigger and bigger and bigger and slowly start to realize. I'm dying. This is not good. Um, but you can't. You can't take it. Because if you do, you're abandoning all those people. How do you feel putting yourself in that box like that? I decided that because I was feeling crappy, I put an effort into my... Funny how you're going to put effort into your appearance and not your nutrition. Maybe Ooh. then you won't feel so crappy, huh? Ooh, sick burn, dude. Jeez, that shit was hard. That shit was really hard, dude. How is Tess Holly going to reply to that one? And I've also I've often wondered that same question that like how can you I see so many of these people that think they're gonna feel better if they do their makeup or they do their nails or they do their lashes I just got my lashes done or I'm gonna do myself up and you know what me personally I do feel better when I wear jeans but all my jeans have been ripping because I'm a fat fuck no it's because the way I sit down on my on my legs I tend to like 
sit on one leg. So one pair, like on every side of my left leg, I tend to sit on my left leg and fold up that left leg. So all my jeans have been ripping. Like I'm not even joking either. Like all of them have been ripping. Look at this. This just happened today. I'm not even joking, bro. Like what is going on with that shit? Because I sit down on my leg. I'm, I'm a weird sitter. But anyway, I have different problems, right? But let's hear how Tess Holiday is gonna reply to this. Oh. Mm. That overline is crazy, bro. That's a mean ass overline, dude. Jesus Christ. Hi. <laughs> Effort, huh? <laughs> I'm a goddamn supermodel. I just don't understand why Tess Holiday does this stuff to herself. Like, can you just stop being cringy for literally, like, your, for the rest of your life? You've already hit the max pinnacle of cringe. By the way, if somebody says, hey, um, yeah, you're, like, really unhealthy, and I think that you should probably lose weight, which is what that woman basically said, and she did say it in a snarky way, and your reply is, I'm a goddamn supermodel? You do realize that doesn't actually answer the question. You do realize that you didn't actually do anything. Like, you do realize that you didn't eat there, right? You didn't slay. You didn't do anything besides make yourself look like a complete fucking retard because you missed the entire purpose of what that person was saying. I don't understand why Tess Holiday has to be so ungodly levels of ignorant purposely about literally everything. Are you fucking stupid? You didn't realize what that person was saying? They were saying, you're unhealthy. How is it that you can be unhealthy and you can feel bad, but you think that the only way that you can feel better is if you do yourself up instead of actually eating something good for you and losing weight. And your response is, I'm a supermodel. Great. That's awesome. Thank you so much. You know what? Anytime that somebody ever asks me to do something, like for instance, if I go in and I need to get my engine checked or something like that for an inspection, because here in Massachusetts, you have to get an inspection every year. And they go, yeah, uh, you got to check engine light. I'm going to go... Keep the change. Keep the change. Yeah, um, I'm, I have a big penis. Uh, yep, that's just what it is. I'm just going to walk out just like that. I know that doesn't actually solve any problems. I know it's not relevant in any way, but I'm just going to follow along with Tess Holiday right now because guess what? Uh, I'm a goddamn supermodel too because that's how, we that's how we handle shit. We don't actually answer the question. We don't actually address the problem. We just announce ourselves like we're Pokemon, just listing off our, 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 our pre-qualifications. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? <laughs> And it's really cringy, too, because she thinks that she killed here with a full face of makeup that doesn't even match the rest of your body. You literally did nothing right now. You're literally stupid. You're so dumb. And you think that you did something, bro. You did nothing besides embarrass yourself. But, you know, whatever, dude. Uh, I, I love this video. I, lo I love when people create videos and they think they hashtag slayed. But in reality, all they did was make themselves look ridiculous and uh, actually dumb. But, uh, you know, that's why I love Tess Holiday, bro. She's just the epitome of cringe. I'm a goddamn supermodel. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I held the world. I held, I held. I think I was like third place on Kino Dare Toten in Black Ops One for like a day and a half on PlayStation Three about ten years ago. I'm just gonna tell people that you know, because like anytime somebody says like, "Hey, bro, yeah, you know what? I think your your blood pressure is really high. I think you're like pre-diabetic." I'm just gonna tell them that. I'm just gonna be like, you know, I'm like, I was a third place world record holder for Kino Dare Toten on Black Ops Three. And then I'm just going to leave because that's, that should automatically, that should slay right there. I know. Yeah. I also run multiple successful businesses. She's so cringy, dude. That's, it's just so crazy, dude. Like, can you imagine being this unaware of how stupid you sound? Like, it's, it's completely unfucking relevant dude. This is the equivalent of like you going on a date with a guy and just guy just bragging to you how much money he has. Dude, nobody asked. Nobody fucking asked, dude. It's always better to show instead of tell. How about I ask you and then you can answer instead of just announcing how great you are. You're so fucking, it's so condescending and it's so gross. Tess Holiday. I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, you act like as if that's a, an accomplishment. Like, that's great that you own multiple businesses, but uh, what does it have to do with you taking care of yourself? Well, nothing. Literally nothing. Great. Great. Awesome. Good to know that we haven't answered the question yet. Much effort, though. I also work out five days a week. What are you doing at those five days a week, though? Like, what are you, what are you working out exactly? You going to the Planet Fitness and just work out those Tootsie Rolls right into your mouth? Like, what are you doing when you work out? Are you sitting on the bench and watching other people sweat? Like, what are you doing? I would love to know what you're doing in that gym. I know. <laughs> you know what? You're not even saying anything. You're literally cringe. You're super cringe, bro. Oh, my God. This is some apex cringe. <laughs> um, God. So many mental gymnastics to to get from your leap 
over here. No. Yeah, isn't that crazy that she could say that? Your leap from over here, literally talking about her own mental gymnastics, how she's going to justify living her life. What are we even doing right now, Tess Holiday? Like, you, you, you have, you are really out here bragging about all your accomplishments as if that has any bearing on what's actually talk, what we're talking about right now. You're literally that person that comes in where everybody else is talking about their favorite flavor of, 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 let's just say lemonade. Like, oh, I like, you know, I like Minute Maid. Oh, you like Minute Maid? What, what about you? I like Arm & Hammer. I like this, right? And you come out of nowhere like, yeah, I'm just a supermodel. Like, I can't believe it. How good looking I am. How much money I make. How many times brands want me. Keep in mind, like, in the last few months, you couldn't find any jobs because she's fat as fuck and nobody wants to hire fat models anymore because guess what? It's not culture. Nobody wants to care about it. Nobody cares about it anymore. You fell out of, you fell out of like, you know, popularity. Nobody cares about you anymore. So, there's that. Um, so, Tess Holiday is the epitome of getting smacked in the mouth with her own logic consistently. I don't know why she thinks she slays so hard here. That's effort, yeah. Um, I don't know, you know, I really, I don't really have much else to say because, you know, you roasted. Laughs it. Definitely, she definitely roasted. You literally, not only did she roast, but you roasted yourself as a, as a consequence of that. Like you are literally, you worse, you roasted yourself worse then she roasted you and you don't even see it. And that's hilarious. That's actually crazy. Like she did burn you real hard, but but for some reason, you thought this response was really the response that was gonna be necessary in order to counter that. And all you did was swipe her, no swiping that big BBC that you were trying to throw back at her right into your own mouth. That's crazy. In fat Roast checks yourself. and good mental health. True. Morning y'all. So something happened yesterday to me and I've been like kind of processing it, deciding if I wanted to share it and- Tess Holiday has a really nice face, but when you look at Tess Holiday, I feel like she's probably had a lot of work done in her face because most of the time, if you're the size that Tess Holiday is, which is probably around 400 to 500 pounds, it is almost impossible for not to, to not carry weight in your face. And don't get me wrong, she is carrying weight. You can see it, there's a couple chins there, but not usually you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it more on the cheeks. You're gonna see it on the sides. You're gonna see it right, right here ish, maybe on the forehead a little bit, like, uh, you know, AKA Tammy from my 600 pound life or um, 1000 pound sisters. There's a lot of places that people will hold weight and I can't be too sure, but I think Tess Holiday probably had a little bit of work done to ensure that she is apex pretty in the face. And it's really, uh, really, really obvious that she probably has some work done. I don't know if I'm, I, I could be wrong though. Somebody could let me know down below, but I think she probably has. Because I share everything and decided let's spill it. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. Okay. So I went to the doctor yesterday and I red flag number one going to the doctors. As we all know, doctors are fat phobic. They're trying to tell you, the doctors are always trying to tell you what to do. It's crazy. You go in there and you go, listen, my arm is literally hanging off. What do I do? And they go, you need to like go to surgery. You just tell them straight away, you're biased, you're fat phobic. How dare you insinuate that I'm fat? And the doctor goes, but I didn't say that. And you go. I don't care. I'm out of here. You leave. Because guess what? All doctors are fat phobic. I was in the waiting room, minding my business, hoodie, mask on, chilling. And this woman was seated a couple chairs away from me. She was a little bit more mature. And that's really not when somebody says a little bit more mature, I'm guessing she's I'm guessing she's talking about age wise. Like she's probably meaning like the woman was a little bit older than her instead of because usually when people say you're more mature, that usually means that they're like they have a little bit more insight than you, like they have more experiences than you. But I'm like, I mean, I've heard somebody say that before, but it's just bad wording. The grammar was not on point here. She. But then again, I don't, I don't expect anything other. It seems like Tess Holiday has the grand total of four brain cells, and they all consecutive, consecutively rub together to create sentences. So I mean, but then again, she doesn't need to be good at sentences, even though, because you know why? Because she's a supermodel. She's gonna keep telling you about it. She's a supermodel, guys. She's a supermodel. Remember that. What did I tell you? She's a supermodel. He says, <laughs> you are so pretty. You have a beautiful face. That's not a compliment. If somebody comes up to you and goes, you have a beautiful face. What about the rest of me? Are you, why is it just my face that's pretty? Okay. It's a backhanded compliment. You have beautiful hair. Yeah. Well, and I wouldn't even say that. I mean, it's just a little bit dried out right now. I got them dead ends, dude. I mean, I look like this. Yeah, and dusty. my face is covered, but I'm like, oh, you know, Thank you. But you know, she couldn't just leave it there. She couldn't leave it there as a compliment, I guess. I mean, sh all right. She then proceeded to tell me, why don't you just lose a little bit of weight? True. Somebody's mom, bro, trying to help you out, dude. And you're over here taking it the wrong way. I just don't understand how, 
like, maybe, you know, it is what it is, dude. You know how grandmothers are, dude. They're going to come up to you. Oh, honey, I really think you should lose weight. My husband died early. Yeah, I was married to him for 42 years, and he died at the age of 73 from obesity. I think you should lose weight. They come from a different generation. They're just going to randomly tell you stuff. It is what it is, how it is, right? I was at a McDonald's today, as you can see, and there was a black guy. And I went up, he didn't ask me for money or anything like that, but I got my coffee and I was putting the straw into it. And this guy, this black guy was like, hey man, hey young man, young man, young man. And I looked over and he went like this. And I was like, and then he said, and then I did it back. And then he was like, yup, yup, yup. And I walked out. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that was. I have no idea what I was doing there. I maybe just committed a war crime or I maybe did some voodoo or something like that. I have no idea. He put a curse on me or something like that. Or maybe I fell in love with him. Maybe I'm gay now. I'm gay. I'm gay. I love BBC. This black guy made me fall in love with him. I don't know what he made me do, but I did it. And now here I am. You know what? Everybody here for you. That's for you. I'm no stranger to this. It happens often. I, I'm going to call cap on this too as well. I don't believe that many people are walking up to Tess Holiday and saying like, hey, you need to lose weight. You're fat as fuck. I think most people are living their own life. I don't know why Tess Holiday thinks she's go so goddamn special that people are just going to walk up to her and just, you know, hey, man, I think you should make lifestyle decisions. I think you should make better decisions with your life. Like Obi-Wan Kenobi being approached by that one guy. Hey, you want to buy some death sticks? No, you don't want to buy me death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. Like, I don't think that people are coming up to her and saying this stuff. It's just really unbelievable. And I know because I'm probably more approachable than Tess Holiday, and people don't approach me. So that's a cap. There's no way. Tess Holiday's like a two, okay? On this scale of one to 10, she's like a two, okay? And I'm being very, very generous, okay? Now, usually ones are like people that are missing like features, like arms and stuff like that. And that's terrible. I'm not saying that those people don't, you know, they, they shouldn't find love and things like that. But you have to understand, Tess Holiday's a two, okay? She's not attractive in almost any way. She might have hair, but hair could be, like, accentuated or not accentuated in many other ways. You can just wear a wig, okay? But, no, she's not good-looking. I don't think anybody's going up to her, and I don't think anybody's saying this stuff. She's very unrealistic. But usually when someone says something like that to me, because I have uh, deeply seated trauma and people-pleasing tendencies, uh, <laughs> I usually say, you know something to kind of placate their diet talk make them feel a little bit better i'm usually like well you know i work out whatever not not yesterday cool. because i was tired and i looked at her uh took a breath and i said you're a old grandma looking bitch how fucking dare you disrespect me don't ever look at my big back ever again you go back to your fucking home to your old curtis your old fucking cletus husband you dirty bitch that's not what she said but and i still can't believe that i said this just say it. <laughs> look at me smiling i'm so proud of myself um I, I'm, I already know everything she's gonna say here is just complete a lie dude the fact that she has to keep like amping herself up and, like oh my god like i what i said was actually crazy like i cannot believe i said this like what i said was actually insane and when i tell you guys what i said your guys you guys are gonna think i'm insane too it's it's like really crazy so here's what i said okay oh my god i can't believe i said this like i can't believe i said it. just say it just fucking say it it's at her and i said Ma'am, I am one of the most famous plus-size models in the world. Ooh, that's tough, Tess Holiday. That's really tough, bro. Uh, you're not that famous if you have to keep telling people how famous you are. Why are you so cringe? You're literally out here bestowing upon this information to grandmothers as if they care at all? What is up with you, bro? Why would you ever think this was an appropriate talking point ever? Never in my life have I ever thought, I'm going to tell people how great I am. I'm going to tell people because that doesn't actually disqualify anything at all. If somebody says, I think you'd be healthier. Like if your doctor was like, hey, Tess Holiday, I was looking at your blood work. Uh, it's bad. Uh, it's really bad. I mean, I'm surprised you were able to even walk in here. It's actually kind of crazy. Like at any moment, you might have a stroke right now. Your blood pressure is 300. Um, we need to actually have a conversation, serious conversation about this. And Tess Holiday just goes, listen, I am one of the most famous supermodels in the entire world. So let that sink in. And that doctor's going to go, uh, oh, sorry. Let me just write that down too on the list of ailments. Mental disability. Cringy to the next degree. 
retarded. Yes, uh, sorry, Tess Holiday. nothing you said actually made any sense at all. I'm so happy that you exist, though, because this video, not only is it cringe, but it's very entertaining to have somebody just randomly blurt out that they're a supermodel on every chance they can possibly get. I don't know why you have this ability. It's just, is it just innate in you to just tell people how, like, uh, qualified you are, even though it's not remotely relevant to anything that we're talking about at the moment in time why do you have to keep telling people you're a supermodel are you actually mentally disabled please let us know i think i'm doing okay you're not doing okay that's not even how that works you're literally somebody literally said i'm concerned with your health i think you should lose weight and you say i'm a supermodel and then you thought you wait you literally lost like you literally why do you keep smacking yourself in your own mouth? I just don't, and then you think you ate too. Like you think you did something, but you didn't do anything at all besides disrespect your own brain capacity with this killer comment and then upload a fake scenario, which makes you look even worse. Is Tess Holiday, uh, see look, okay guys, here. You know what? This is, this should be a testament. Think about this. Think about the scenario we're in right now. We're literally looking at somebody that's a supermodel that makes millions of dollars a year potentially, and they're bracket about it. Think about this, okay? They're a businesswoman and all this. They're very successful people by any accounts. If Tess Holiday can do it and we're seeing representation, a lot of people think that it's only men that are retarded. No, it's not just men. We have the proof. We have the proof, guys. It's women too. Women are also very, very retarded. And we have a very key example right here. So if you ever think about times in your life where you're at your lowest and you're failing or something happened and it's very dire, just think back to this moment. If Tess Holiday can do all of this, you can do almost anything. I mean, let's be honest here for a second. This is incredible. This is incredible series of uh, amazingness, dude. I mean, we're literally watching um, a mentally disabled person brag about how much they're cool they are and how great they are, and they don't even realize that they're actually wrong about everything, and they don't make any sense at all. It's it's incredible. It's great. Um, so yeah, you know, motivation, right? Motivation. I am one of the most famous plus size models in the world. Period. I think I'm doing okay. Period. That grandma really got bitch slapped on that one right even the grandma's probably looking at you going uh yeah but who asked <laughs> what are you talking about what does that have to do with anything are you like are you okay uh, are you here for like a mental evaluation ah! she she just went oh um my sister rented a room one time to a to a plus size model and i said great and then she says and then i oh then she goes you know, I just stop eating when I'm not hungry. Damn, she killed you with that one, dude. Damn, bro. You keep getting destroyed by people, bro. And it's so convenient. That grandma really told you she stops eating when she's not hungry anymore? You know what she's implying by that, right? She's implying that you don't. She's implying that you be eating way too much. And it's obvious. I mean, it's obvious. She really just verbally bitch slapped you in the most passive way possible. And I bet you don't even register it as a disrespectful comment. Let me smell that real quick. Hold up. Because let me... So the grandma approached you critical hit. I mean, she critical hitted you. And then you proceeded to do an AOE attack on her. And then that AOE, I don't know if she had like a mirror force or something like that. But that shit reverted back upon you, smacked your own mouth. And then you thought you slayed, hashtag slay, even though your health bar was literally blinking at that point. Not because of the, the critical damage that you just received verbally, but because you're obese and you're literally on life support every single day just from existing. But and then also, after all of that, the grandma then proceeds to smack you one last time with some straight up logic right in your mouth that's uh, crazy how the fuck did you just like you really let that grandma three piece you like that and one of the pieces was you goes you know i just stop eating when i'm not hungry period slay grandma anymore yeah and i just said bodies are weird no they're not fucking weird what are you talking about you you're dumb uh, yeah, that's stupid. That's really dumb. I'm happy though. Thank you, Tess Holiday. Bodies are really weird. So you're telling me that grandma was basically saying, yeah, you should probably lose weight and, you know, maybe do what I'm doing, which is like when I'm not hungry anymore, I just don't be eating that much anymore. Um, and then you go, yeah, but nah, I think that probably I'm different. You're not different. You're big. You're fat. You're ginormous. You're dying. It's not beautiful. You're not beautiful. You're diabetic. You're dying you're not beautiful okay let that sink in a little bit okay kind of like how you're gonna sink into the floor if it was ever sandy or anything like that or muddy you would just sloop right into the fucking floor okay like 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 kitty pride was holding on to you just fall into the floor no Tess holiday you lost you lost to the grandma and she didn't even try and because mostly because you smacked your own mouth and even with this comment you literally missed the point you don't even understand why you're wrong
And then I like looked at my phone and then God bless. I hear Terry, the nurse say, you know, my name. And I was like, big back test holiday. Bye. Yeah, you lost so bad. Why would you post this video? This is so disrespectful for yourself. But I'm not surprised. Like, Tess Holiday is actually dumb as hell. Back a few months ago when that Leo Skippy shit was going down, uh, Tess Holiday had made, like, one or two videos. And if you go back to that video with the Leo Skippy stuff, Tess Holiday was making all these claims and saying all this terrible stuff. And at the end of the video, she said, I didn't watch the video. And I thought, are you, are you, are you crazy? How could you make a response video to something that you didn't even watch? Are you dumb? Like, are you act like sometimes I really genuinely want to know how these people can navigate the world and say so much hogwash. And then when they when they when you ask them, wait, why do you think that? And they don't know why. I always think that's incredible. Like you are a testament to how durable human beings are. The fact that you can literally be walking around 400 pounds and just brag about it, you know, just brag about how you're a plus size model, which is not the flex you think it is. And then proceed to body wash your own mouth daily not just with the food but with your own logic that makes zero sense at all i just love it dude it's crazy uh tess holiday is a beautiful amazing person uh so yeah i guess you know you lost you lost real hard and not only did you lose you posted it on tiktok you should probably delete this video this is actually really embarrassing tess holiday i'm proud of myself I'm <laughs> what what do you what proud of yourself for what losing for, for getting watered to for getting fucking beetle washed by a grandmother and yourself somebody gotta report this shit this is self-harm dude out of myself for standing up for me you didn't stand up you were sitting down the whole time and a grandma literally watered your mouth for you self even though she will never get it and there was no she'll never get it because your logic makes no sense and the only reason i understand your logic is because i talked to a whole bunch of retarded people in my life and i understand the way you're thinking like it's just it's crazy to me that I, I the fact that i can understand what you were trying to say is actually really really crazy for me because it just means that i've been listening and talking to too many people in my life that have mental disabilities it should not be this easy for me to be able to like set a stone this shit like understand how this woman is like working her brain the mental gymnastics this woman is trying to like convey to try to to try to make it seem like she didn't lose that you lost you lost od there by every metric you lost you didn't and you're flexing that you won you didn't this is the equivalent of literally getting beaten up so bad and then getting up and going well i didn't get knocked out therefore i didn't lose nah you lost you lost hard reason for me to like explain myself and my in that situation but i'm I'm fucking proud of myself. True, yeah. Proud of, you, proud of yourself, Tess Holiday, for losing. You're, man, t who's who's following this woman, dude? How can people follow people like this, dude? Like, there's no law. There's nothing behind those eyes, dude. There's literally nothing. She just said a whole bunch of words and body washed her own mouth. So, yep. yeah. I have coffee, but I really like soup for lunch. Um, I have bone broth for lunch a lot. You know, what I find most mental about this is that we've known for years that she is okay with glorifying her eating disorder. And I'm not judging because I have an eating disorder. Bone broth is not a suitable meal. We don't know that. How do we know that? You can't just say bone broth is not a suitable meal. That's not how that works at all. And by the way, if it was good for, te if, it, if it's good for Gwyneth Paltrow, the steamy vagina woman, then it's probably okay. If that, if that she probably does more research than you, okay? Like, don't we not want to be judging people on what they eat? Isn't that like one of your core tenets or whatever? Why are we judging people on what they're eating right now, Tess Holiday? Aren't you always telling people to never talk about what you're eating? So why are you commenting on what Gwyneth Paltrow is eating, dude? It seems a little hypocritical. And then to end your day with just eating vegetables? Yeah, what's wrong with eating vegetables as opposed to what are you eating? What are you eating every single day, dude? Like copious amounts of calories. You're probably literally eating 5,000 or 6,000 calories every single day. And you're telling me that Gwyneth Paltrow eating bone broth and vegetables is bad. Dude, get a fucking grip on reality test. Dude, Tess Holiday makes this way too easy. Like it should not be this easy for me to just fundamentally body slam her shit like this. It should not be this easy. But yet, people continue to give her airtime. You're literally doing the exact same in the other end. So if you're going to sit here and critique her uh, for saying what she's saying, you should also be looking in the mirror and understanding that you're doing it as well, just on the other side. To give her a platform, to take her advice. Okay, it's so crazy, dude. That's such a... Because I, I'm thinking that same thing for you. Like, are people just watching you to make fun of you? Are people just watching you to see the hysteric, like the, the absolutely hystericalness of your entire character? Are they watching to see if you, when, when you eventually fail? 
are they watching that or do you have genuine fans that like cheer you on because who can who can watch this woman and then like hear her talk like this and go this is my this is my queen this is the person that is logically thinking this is a person that can draw two plus two and somehow create bone broth or two plus two equals oreo uh, the star wars oreos it's uh, who who's watching this woman for that this woman is literally mentally disabled because everyone is too afraid to be fat. Yeah, well, there's a lot of problems with being fat, so yeah. I was at a big fancy Hollywood event years ago. I just love how she just silently flexes that. I don't know, like, what's up with her? Why does she have to say this shit? Like, why does she have to always go? So like, you know, I'm a supermodel. I was at a Hollywood party too, you know that? I was there. And Gwyneth Paltrow was there. Or as she had everyone refer to her as GP. I doubt that. I don't think Gwyneth Paltrow was ever referred to any. There's no way people were referring to her as GP. Are we fucking serious? Why is GP? Couldn't you just say Gwyneth or Paltrow? Is it whatever? It's probably easier to say that than GP. What are you talking about, dude? No, man. Absolutely not. I'm already calling cap on this. I don't know why she got to make shit so incredibly... Are you fucking dumb? What are you talking about? People were calling Gwyneth Paltrow GP. I would have just called her steamy because of her steamy vagina thing. If you guys don't know, a few years back she was saying that uh, every woman should be steaming her vagina to ensure that you're getting good quality vagina. I don't know exactly how it works or whatever. Um, if your vagina is not adequate and you 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 think that your your vagina is inadequate, you can go steam it. Uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like steam it up, put some seasoning, some garlic powder on it too and steam it steam it up i don't know exactly how you steam it there's a device that you can buy that just put it on there and just let it steam up i don't know exactly what's going on with that I'm, the dudes don't have this i don't know why we don't have steamed penises you would think that if women are out here steaming their vaginas guys would be steaming their penises or doing other things i don't know like filleting their shit or something like that like put it on like put a little bit of saute on it you know what i'm talking about and then just getting one of the other things that just and then just steam it out, you know, just get the seasonings imbued into your meat and really just get that good, good, good flavor all up on it, dude. I mean, that's that's what you should be doing, right? Is that what we're talking about here? I don't know. Going to Paltrow is dumb, but uh, I don't think anybody was referring to her as GP. That's crazy. What hood she from where she, people are going to refer to her as GP? And she was at a table with Rachel Zoe, and I'm not going to get too deep into Rachel Zoe. Oh, you, you don't like Rachel Zoe? What's up with her, dude? What, what is up with her, bro? I just, you know, I'm just like the moral high ground queen. Like, I just don't know. Like, I'm just like better than everybody, and I know everything, and I also know what is right and what is wrong. And even though I literally just told somebody um, that I'm judging them, I'm judging them on all their stuff and what they eat and stuff like that. Also, don't judge me on what I need to eat. Uh, anyway, I was at a Holloway party because, you know, I'm like a supermodel. I'm like an OB supermodel or whatever. People love me, by the way. Um, Gwyneth Paltrow actually approached me and was like, oh, my God, are you – Tess Holiday, you're like really, really crazy cool. I love you. You're more famous than me. And I think you should probably be a bigger celebrity than me. I'm actually starstruck right now because of how amazing you are. This is the scenario that Tess Holiday wants me to believe. She wants me to believe that she's just casually like, you know, rubbing shoulders with like Clint Eastwood and like, I don't know, like, uh, you know, Danny DeVito and shit. I don't know, whatever. Bro. It's fucking I have stupid. my own opinions. Yeah. And it was a seated dinner and we- As opposed to what? Uh, do you, most most dinners are seated. Am I wrong? Like, what do you, I guess you would not show up if it was a standing dinner. Am I wrong? Had a set course, a set meal. And she loudly had to let everyone know in this very tiny room with Natalie Portman. Yo, I, yo, this woman, dude. Who's watching this woman, dude? Who's watching this woman? This woman is literally cringe. This woman is literally cringe. Who else was in the room? Who else? What, Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt? Oh, wow. Brad Pitt was in the room. Natalie Portman. Kira Knightley. Wow. Kira fucking Knightley in this fucking room? Trump. Obviously, Trump was there. He was surprised. I mean, he told me I should run for president. This is, this is basically what I'm hearing from this woman. Why are you flexing right now? Why are you flexing so hard, Tess? Nobody gives a fuck. Catherine O'Hara. Okay, you keep name going. it. Yeah, you name it is such a crazy ass thing to say. You name it. I mean, we literally had everybody in the room. Whoever you can think about off the top of your head, they were in that room. It doesn't make sense. But don't worry. They were in there. They were there. True. That her and her table, which were a handful of her close friends, as she said, that they were going to have something different. Cool. Pizza. But not just any pizza. Cauliflower crust pizza with no cheese. Okay. And I'm not shading anyone that likes cauliflower pizza. Go on, do your thing. But what, what are you talking about? Like, you're not going to shade them for doing that. You're going to shade them for eating bone broth and vegetables. So you, so you don't have morals. Like, you obviously don't give a fuck. You can't sit here and be like, I'm not going to shade you for that. You literally just shaded Gwyneth Paltrow a little bit ago for doing the exact thing that you're shading her for doing right now. So 
what the fuck are you even talking about? Like, why are you even trying to take the moral high ground here? You're literally, you're morally bankrupt. Like, you have no morals to stand on, dude. You're literally in the ground at this point. Like, you might as well be digging to fucking China. Like, I'm literally, you're claiming so much moral high ground, and then I looked into the hole that you were in in order, when you claimed that, and you were still digging. That's how low you were on the moral high ground spectrum. Oh, jeez. And I'm not shading anyone that likes cauliflower pizza. Go on, do your thing. But everyone just laughed like it was no big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. If Gwyneth Paltrow wants to announce that she's about to eat cauliflower pizza, I don't understand what's the problem. You literally announce that you're a supermodel every chance you get. You literally just did it in this video. So what are you talking about? Why do you care? And I'm not here to judge what people put in their body. What the fuck are you talking about? That's literally what you're doing right now. You you can't be like, oh yeah, not to be racist. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what I'm hearing, right? Not to be racist, but like when black guys come to my, when black guys come over, no, I don't have watermelon. No, I don't have purple drink, purple drank. I don't, what is purple drank? Uh, hey, that's a really nice ankle bracelet you have on there. Why is it blinking? Why do all you black guys have ankle bracelets on? Black guys wear lotion. That's what you're basically saying right now. You're basically saying, I'm not going to do this, but watch me do it hard. I'm about to literally do this shit like crazy hard, matter of fact. You're literally, you're quite literally judging everybody right now on what they're eating, including Gwyneth Paltrow, while saying that you're not going to do that and then do it right after that. Are you dumb? <laughs> Do you not realize that you're literally doing that? Please, can we have some consistency? Just a little bit. I'm not asking for too much. I'm literally just asking you to be consistent from one sentence to the next. If you can't do that for three sentences, okay. But one sentence to the next, please. That's all I'm asking for. Especially as someone that has a restrictive eating disorder. Nobody cares about you. Who the fuck are you, bro? You're a nobody, bro. Why does Tess already think she's so goddamn important? Order. And I get mocked all the time. Yeah, but you're not Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, you weren't an Iron Man, and you're you're not steaming your shit like Gwyneth Paltrow. So you're not you know you're not the same. Yeah, you know, you're not the same as Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> no, you're not close. Because I am fat. Damn. So how dare I talk about not feeding my body? What are you even talking about? Are you really this pressed about the Gwyneth Paltrow eating cauliflower pizza, dude? You gotta take that fucking bracelet off, bro. That shit is literally cutting off circulation like crazy right now, bro. That shit is really tight. I bet if she took that shit off right now, there'd be a giant line across her hand, dude. Right. But this shit isn't normal. And it Tess Holiday, I really, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, Tess Holiday. I really don't think this is the hill you want to die on. I really don't think you want to be critiquing other people on what they're eating as not normal, even though you just said you're not gonna judge people on what they're eating. That's already a whole can of worms that you don't even understand that you you completely just like slapped your own mouth again. But you do realize that you're you're like 400, 500 pounds, right? Like you do understand that. You know that because that is something that's occurring currently, that uh, that means that you're eating way too much, right? So if you don't want other people judging you based off your eating habits and obviously very unhealthy eating habits because you're overweight, you're very obese. So yes, everything that you're eating currently as it is right now is leading to your obesity and your unhealthiness, which would de deem that what you're eating is unhealthy. And then you're going to be sitting here shitting on Gwyneth Paltrow, steamy Gwyneth, uh, because she chose to eat cauliflower pizza. What is wrong with you? Why are you so pressed right now? You're just, you don't got shit out there. You don't got nothing else going on right now. Like you can't find a job right now trying to model anywhere. Um, you want to keep announcing it. You know what I'm talking? Just make like an Instagram pro. Just make a post and just go, I'm a supermodel. Please hire me. I'm a supermodel. Please. I'm a supermodel. Just say that like five times. Maybe somebody somewhere will go, oh my God, it's a supermodel. Let's hire her. Obviously that's not going to happen because you're big as hell. But anyway, let's keep going. It's affecting a whole other generation. Dude, what is this virtue signal? What is this fucking moral high ground shit we got right now? She has no realm of talking right now. This woman is literally in the fucking dirt digging, digging and digging. And she's proclaiming the moral high ground so hard. Of young folks who think that you're literally doing it on the other end, except it's worse because Gwyneth Paltrow is in on like social media proclaiming that eat, eat fucking cauliflower pizzas for the rest of your life. You're literally eating like GP. Uh -huh. is Nobody calls her GP. Stop saying that. Appropriate is okay. And I'm not saying that I have all the answers. And yeah, I you're obviously not saying that. You can, you're, you literally contradict yourself like three times in this video. I have it figured out because I sure the hell don't. So don't talk about it. If you don't have a solution, stop talking about it. But with all the talk about Ozemic and all these... Didn't you pronounce it right? Yeah, fucking look at this shit. Islamic. Islamic. The autocorrect couldn't even get that shit right. Other weight loss drugs. It's exhausting. It is okay to feed your body. Yo. 
tests, you really don't want to say this, bro. I'm going to keep it up. You got to delete this video. This is crazy. This is insane amounts of fucking cringe. You just, did you really just say it's okay to feed your body and you're upset that Gwyneth Paltrow was feeding her body in an optimal way, but you're sitting here as an obese, morbidly obese woman proclaiming that you're feeding your body? That would be the implication here. You're saying it's okay to feed your body as somebody that is 500 pounds, meaning that you're feeding your body, right? You're saying that what you're doing is optimal compared to what Gwyneth Paltrow is doing. So if that is what I'm, if that is what I'm deducing, okay, and I'm reading between the lines, you're saying that your diet program is better than hers. Really? Um, it just kind of seems interesting that that's really the direction we're going down right now. You're fat, you're big, you're dying. Let's keep it a buck. Carbs are not the devil. True. Fat isn't bad. Well, it just depends on how much fat, right? Everybody needs an optimal amount of fat. That's fine. But when your body, when your body fat percentage is like 70% overweight, you know, like your, your, your BMI is 70, 70%, uh, it's not good. It's not the goodest. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's kind of not the goodest. And I mean fat in your food and fat on your body. It's not bad. That's crazy as hell to show the fat on your body and then proceed to put the camera showing your back. It, it, I know you were trying to show your butt there, but all I saw was back. It was just pure big back. But hey, anything for a dollar. True, Tess. I mean, let's let's be honest here. Obviously, this woman's grifting as hard as she fucking possibly can right now. I mean, didn't she literally try to grift a few months back on that fucking? She, oh, I can't get I can't get a job because I'm fat, dude. Th y this woman is projecting OD. Who's watching this shit? This woman is literally deplorable to a different degree. Nobody should be listening to this woman. She's an ultimate grifter right now. Anything for the cost of people's mental health. Or what about physical health? What about that? Like, are we doing that? I mean, what, what, no, we're not doing that, huh? No, not, not about physical health, yeah. You're right. If you lost weight, I bet you'd be a runner and healthy turner a hel a, and a head turner as you are pretty. She got that little dubby, bro, that zebra cake, man. She got that zebra cake. By the way, none of these freckles are real. She just drew these on. I can tell, okay? I've been around people before. Those are fake. And this is a really good way to prove your point. I mean, if somebody says, right, think about this, a random person's in your comment section, they go, hey, listen, I think if you lost weight, you'd be great. And I think it would be great if you lost weight. And then you reply, uh, going in your kitchen, getting a zebra cake and recording yourself for a TikTok video, body slamming the zebra cake to prove a point. I don't know what the point is. I don't know what that, you know, it, I don't think you, do you really think this is a dub? How come every time I watch a video on Tess Holiday? taking dubs it's never her taking a dub it's literally just solid l's like all l's all day long just a list of l's like if there was a christmas list and it was santa claus like jotting down all the accomplishments for the year it would just be test holiday it would just be solid l's all the way down because this woman is incapable of even when she takes an l, even when she takes a dub somehow the l still persists i don't understand eat that yeah go ahead bro body that shit really gonna that's awesome Lil Debbie, right in your mouth, bro. I mean, that's, that's great. I mean, these zebra cakes are not bad, not bad. But I will tell you right now, them shits be making you feel garbage, dude. This person literally out here probably going to feel like a bag of burritos for the rest of the day. I mean, that's obvious, though. She's stupid. Her mental capacity is literally dumb. I mean, she probably got some car brain like crazy right now. Her shit is probably clouded up like serious. Proving a point, definitely. Yep, definitely. Oh, Tess Holiday, you killed it. You killed it. Yep. Enjoy that zebra cake. Um, that's awesome. I'm so happy that you just indulged on like a quick 300 calories as a snack. Just to prove a point. You're really proving us wrong right now. Hi. So I was working out just now. And Come on now. And I just have to get something off my chest. You know, I know societally we don't care about fat people or folks in larger bodies we do care about them that's why we tell them to not be fat because it's actually a problem but obviously you're not going to see it that way because you have an agenda to push and you're going to grift as long as the grift lasts right uh, but it seems like the well is starting to run dry and it's incredibly frustrating because what do we do lose weight i don't what do you mean what do we do i don't know get better stop being fat uh, work on yourselves stop acting as though this is not a problem when it obviously is a problem where are our safe spaces what are you talking about what do you mean safe spaces it's a fat person what do you i don't know like go on twitter space or something like that i'm sure there are a community of fat people that are coming together that are talking about being fat and it's how amazing it is i don't what do you want? What do you want exactly, bro? You you just want people to accept you for being fat? You know that that's like literally us acknowledging not truth, right? You do understand that.
No? Not understanding it. Okay, whatever, dude. Safe space for Tess Holiday, I guess. No matter what we do, no matter what we say, no matter how we present in the world, folks still criticize us, judge us. Uh, if Okay, Tess Holiday's in a different realm, okay? She's posting herself in a very public way. She's a public figure, and she's upset that people are judging her, okay? You're in a different category compared to other people. Fat people that just, like, average fat people that have working jobs and things such and so forth are not being judged like this, okay? They might be judged by family members. They might be judged by friends, but they're not being judged by the wider population of society, so they don't have to really worry about, like, uh, having a safe space. Most fat people are under the stand uh, are under the understanding that being fat is not good. You're in a different category. You're, you're like, a very fat influencer posting about the joys of being fat and you're upset that being fat is being critiqued you're different you're in a different category stop looking at yourself as like a normal person you're not us. there's like nothing normal about you not even in a good way either as so many things that we are not and then wonder why we are angry wonder why we struggle with mental health oh you're struggling i know you struggle with mental health you can't be the size and not struggle with that mental health and it's so frustrating because it's like what is I don't care if it's frustrating, dude. Like, what do you want? The, this is literally the consequences of your own actions, and you're complaining about that. What do you want me to do about that? Like, you cause and effect. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, if you stab somebody, you're going to go to jail. Why would you be upset that you're going to jail? Then the cry about goal. it. What, what do people want? To, for you guys to be healthy. I mean, no. ultimately, I want you guys to make your own decisions. I just hope that you become more educated about this. And I know Tess Holiday is probably, what's even the point of wearing a necklace? What's even the point? If you're this big and I can't even see the necklace anymore, you know, a lot of people might just kind of think it's like a series of grease that's built up. A lot of people might think that. I don't understand why we even bother. Why are we even bother wearing a necklace if you don't got a neck? What's the purpose? Uh, it's like somebody having a hair tie when they don't have hair. What are you, what are you doing? For fat people, just lose weight, become healthier, um, at least understand that your body is not that durable. It's not going to maintain this particular type of weight for a prolonged period of time. I mean, you're literally moving bricks through your veins right now. Do you just want us dead? Do you no, no, uh, no. What are you talking about? No, none of us. I, there might be a few extreme people that want you dead, but uh, most people, including me, no, bro. We just want you to be alive. We want you to be healthy. We just want you to make better decisions. Just want us to suffer because you're already suffering so anything would be better than this right you guys are literally living a life on hard mode consistently is you would rather make fun of us instead of doing your inner work and what is my inner work what are you talking about dude this doesn't even make sense remotely because you're what you're actually talking about is putting yourself out on a public forum and then being upset that people are talking to you in a way that you don't like about what you're saying and saying it's wrong and then your response is why don't you just work on yourself? Literally you, literally you, you are the inception. You are the reason why this is occurring. You cannot be upset by your own cause and effect. You're doing it to yourself. Stop being dumb. Which is not up to me, dude. It's not like, oh, just go work on yourself. Literally you work on yourself, dude. You don't understand that you have problems? Projection through the roof. Instead of you going to therapy, instead of you doing self-reflecting, instead of you wondering, it's always somebody else. It's like, it's always external. It's never them. They can never look at themselves and go, maybe I'm doing something. Maybe I did something wrong. It's never them. It's always us. Oh, you harm and impact others with your words and actions because you hate yourself so much that you... Literally, everything here is just projection. Like, there is nothing... This is the most representative version of what projection is. This person is literally, quite literally, everything they're saying is reflected right back upon them. They are literally telling you what they should be doing in order to remedy themselves. And she can't see that. Tess Holiday can't see that. It's really crazy, actually. This is actually a prime example of some serious mental illness. Self-reflecting instead of you wondering how you harm and impact others with your words and no, actions. No, she doesn't understand that like her putting these videos on the internet and her saying this hogwash and her doing the things that she does is quite literally the exact thing that other people, that she's saying that other people are doing. And it's crazy. She just doesn't acknowledge it. She's like so absent-minded. She's so smooth-brained right now. She doesn't realize that literally everything that she's saying right now can be equally put upon her tenfold. It's because you hate yourself so much that you treat people like shit, especially fat people. But yeah, fat people are the ones that have it all wrong, right? Yes, this is true. Yes, this is correct. <laughs> because it must be us, right? It's not societally. No, it's too easy to blame it on society. You guys may think it's 
it, you guys may think it's hard to look in, look at society and go, they're the problem. They're the problem. It's not me. That's easy. That's very easy. Matter of fact, be careful when you meet people that externalize problems like this, because they'll never take accountability. This is prime manipulation tactics right here. It's never you. All right. It's never, it's never them. And whenever you do tell them, no, wait, let's talk about this. It might be you. It's always a pivot. It's always a pushback. It's always move the goalpost back. It's never acknowledgement. And you got to stop these people. And when you have conversations with these people, catch them and go, wait a minute. Let's stop here and let's talk about this a little bit. Let's not keep pushing back. No, wait, let's not keep going here. Let's go back to this. Let's talk about why this is the case instead of you keep pushing back and pivoting and understand, oh no, what about this? What about this? No, forget about the what-isms. Let's stay here and talk about that. These people can never take accountability. It's always somebody else's problem. Prime manipulation tactics. It's not, it's just our fault. Yes. And they victimize themselves as well, which is really cringy. Fucking exhausted. True. I'm Cry about it. I'm tired. Cry about it. Fucking tired. Just cry. What are you in the Arby's? Uh, she's in the Arby's drive-through right now, dude. She's gonna cry about it, but she's gonna feel happy in a minute after she get that order, dude. There's no happy ending to this. There's no nice message. I'm just. I just don't understand. Like, what's the point of virtue signaling this hard and like recording yourself crying as if anybody cares about you at all? You're literally doing something bad. And then you cry about it as if people are gonna feel bad. Like I don't care. Like I've been around manipulative. I've been around manipulative people. This is nothing. Like I don't care. Like that you're crying. You're gonna have to take accountability for yourself. You're doing something wrong. It is what it is. Okay. You crying is not making me feel worse or feeling bad about you. If anything, it just makes me feel like you're even worse of a person because you think that crying is gonna make you get your way or like it makes your words have more value. When in reality, your words are literally hogwash and they do have value, which is a problem. So anyway. Fucking exhausted. Yeah, you know what you should do? You should probably. I hate to. I really hate to say this, dude. But when you was at that gym earlier, what was you doing at that gym? Like, what were you doing there, dude? Like, why are you? Did you wash your hands before you left, dude? People real deal just be beating meat, and then they throw. They show up, and they be putting their hands on the dumbbells, and you just rubbing your face with that meat beat water. Then you guys fucking should do better. True. Do better. Do better. It's not our fucking faults yeah <laughs> that we're fucking miserable uh. it's <laughs> literally how we are treated yeah every single waking day true whether i'm leaving the fucking gym taking care of my son i'm fucking oh what is this virtue signal bro damn bro this woman is bad who man somebody's gotta really somebody's gotta really fucking watch this woman dude the victimization is insane taking care of my son and people are making fun of me then stop posting yourself on the internet i don't have to fucking tell you bro stop being so bad everything you're saying right now is literal fucking disgusting it, does, it doesn't even make sense remotely but she's never going to actually be in a scenario where people are going to call her out because she's not going to want to be in scenarios like this like people these people get no value in reaching out and having conversations with people because they know if they do they're just going to get fucking demolished and they have everything to lose so it's really sad because these people will have platforms talking about these disgusting ideologies when everything they're saying is all bad and they're just being reinforced by these bad ideologies because they never actually look in the mirror or they're never outside the echo chamber and it's really sad too because there are a lot of people that listen to this person and go, wow, Tess Holiday is so strong, such a strong, independent, fat, obese, big-backed woman. No, this person is actually a monstrably terrible, like no joke either. This is some militia shit. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, I That's all I can bear for today. I'm sorry. Tess Holiday is peak critical cringe. She is literally the cringiest fat acceptance person I've seen in probably the last two months. I don't know how I miss this individual's cringiness, but it was a great journey, an amazing journey. I love the journey, actually. Um, by the way, we do streams on the channel, which is one of the reasons why I did a video today on Tess Holiday. We watched a little bit of her yesterday on stream, so... You know, I'm probably live right now. If you're looking, I don't know, is it past 6 p.m. EST? Probably live, probably live. We stream for like three to five hours every single day. So not every single day, but usually every single day. Um, regardless of that, you're an amazing, beautiful, awesome person. If you watch the video in its entirety, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that tremendously. I appreciate everybody like, comment, subscribe. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in lion. If there's a lion emoji that you want to put down there, or if there's just a lion that you want to type out, regardless of that, I will appreciate the furious kitty that you're going to leave in the comment section. Thank you for leaving that. It's very beautiful. Very nice. Oh, wow. That is a very delightful, beautiful, amazing cat. I love cats. Uh, personally, wouldn't go for those ones because those ones will eat you. Um, not the man-munching ones. The ones that are furry and beautiful and even the ones that are not furry. The ones that look like uh, gremlins or whatever people call them. 
Uh, voids are nice too. I like the voids, the orange ones, even though they're all bad. I still like those ones as well. I don't discriminate against any of them. So there's that. Uh, by the way, you're a beautiful specimen of human being today. Thank you so much for being so amazing, so fantastic, so awesome. We're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.